What is up, daddy? Wait, wait, sorry, I am not Gary Gensler. What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? For everyone who watched the SEC banking hearing committee, whatever you want to call it yesterday, you would have gotten that joke. And I am going to show you the clip because I almost fell out of my seat when this went down. It was absolutely fantastic. And I am happy somebody called Gary Gensler out. Unlike sending a warrant from Massachusetts, leave it to the mass holes to sit there and run with a pre-written script. I mean, they didn't even act like it wasn't written, like they didn't know the answers in advance. She read li line one, Gary led line two. She she read line three, Gary led line four. It was an absolute joke, people. But listen, we got some big news coming today. We got some massive news. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail of this video, we might have the biggest report in all of crypto history going down. Any investigation is already underway. Without further ado, let's not waste any time. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore. You can see all my socials on top of this video and my lovely artwork. You can also see that you may, maybe, maybe just maybe this morning, you're going to click the bell and hit the thumbs up. Give this video a like. You know, giving it a like takes two seconds and helps me out. I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Let's head on over to Live Coin Watch. What do we got going on there? Well, you know, we've seen some coins do a little pumpy pump yesterday. But I'll be loved XRP at $1.10. Not too shabby. I'll take it. We're up about 1% in the past 24 hours. Bitcoin still flirting with its magical range. 44 to 51,000. Currently sitting at 47,624. You know what happens when we sit in these ranges for quite some time. Usually there is a big old crash that comes. Hopefully Bitcoin is going to be able to break out and pass 51,000. Give it one more shot. I think it will. Total market cap, just a tad bit shy of $2.2 trillion as the Bitcoin dominance slipped just a little bit at 40.85%. Now, everyone, a lot of you joined the waiting list to get on, to, the, uh, to get some of the merch. Well, guess what? These white tumblers and the black tumblers are back in stock. I'm telling you, I drove through like a tropical storm last night. Gonna go pick these cups up. I got them. They secured in my car. I couldn't bring them in because it was raining so bad. I didn't want to take a chance of getting them wet. I'm sure they wouldn't have melted. But hey, back in stock. I think there's only like four white and six black. And there's only one black 30 ounce in stock. You would have gotten an email if you were on the waiting list. It automatically sends it out. Make sure you check for that. But get them while supplies last. Also, head over to the Patreon. Listen to me. Listen to me, all of my patrons are dancing. They started dancing last night, they're dancing today, they're gonna be dancing tomorrow, we're all dancing. September 9th, I put out a, a tweet. It stated this wasn't a test, I hope you got in, and you know what, I hope you did. It is never too late to join the Patreon. Plenty of different groups, people. Five levels, listen, if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one with me, only 10 spots available, hey. You want to get on a little Zoom, a little Google Hangout? Mike's yours. Let's do this thing. If you want to join the Vipple, Ripple Van Winkle fan club and show some support and get my exact trading portfolio and what I'm doing and what I'm holding, I got that for you as well. Check it out. Now let's get into Daddy Gary because this senator yesterday, and I wish I knew his name, but I don't. He let Gensler have it. Listen to this clip. It's 19 seconds. I almost fell out of my seat. Hashtag daddy. But as to the, to the people and the companies that you regulate as chairman of the SEC, do you consider yourself to be their daddy? No, no. Then why do you act like it? I uh, try to... Uh... Gensler didn't know what to say, and he's 100% right. Gary Gensler is trying to act like the crypto community, the crypto company's daddy he's trying to say no nope, you can't do this fine or he's like go to your room he says you can't do this wham backhand you know when your dad used to drive the car and you would do something bad in the back seat and he would turn around with the flying right hand as the backhand as he's driving yeah multi-talented that's what gary's doing trying to smack and slap everyone down this is a joke the sec needs to get out of the way that's what has to happen here and coinbase oh Listen, I covered the article, what was it, three days ago now, four days ago now? I told you, I told you, and I got a lot of heat for it because the article was, oh, my, my title was Coinbase is getting sued. Everyone's like, they're not getting sued, calm down. Well, no, guess what? 
They were issued a Wells notice. When they get that Wells notice, means they're under investigation. Gary Gensler stated yesterday that Coinbase has a lot of different securities on their platform. Very interesting now, isn't it? Let's keep moving from Jack the Ripple, my man. If you're not following him, make sure you give him a follow. The Flare airdrop is coming for the XRP holders in two weeks. He is right. We haven't heard any setbacks just yet. We heard September was the time frame. Hopefully things are right. Songbird should be out. Remember, you will be getting Songbird token. You need to check to see if your exchange is going to support it. I know since I am on a cold wallet that I shall have no issues. And then Tom Emmer steps in. He says, and he tweets directly at Gary Gensler. Now listen, Tom Emmer is one of the good ones. He says, is Gary Gensler actually attempting to assume authority over stable coins by rebranding them stable value coins? I replied to Tommy Boy. I said he sure is, Tom. And how does he claim we have clarity when no one knows what the clarity is? I'm going to show you this clip. This is Senator Toomey. Going after Gary Gensler about stable coins, asking him how a stable coin could be a security when it is pegged directly to a dollar. A dollar isn't a security. How could a digital currency be a security? Listen to this. So, for instance, stable coins do not have an inherent expectation of profit, they're just linked to the dollar. Now, you might use them in an attempt to make a profit, but that's a that's a second order activity. It, is it your view that stable coins themselves can be securities? Um, I think it's, uh, Senator, they may well be securities. Um, as as uh, Thurgood Marshall wrote in the Reeves opinion, um, in uh, defining the scope of the market that it, Congress, wished to uh, regulate, Congress painted a broad brush and it actually included about 35 different things inside the definition of a security in okay. the 33 I, Act. I, I've just got limited time here, so I acknowledge that. Um, here's my problem, though. I think what you just said was that they may be securities or that some are securities. Um, to me, a stable coin doesn't meet the second prong of the Howey test, that there has to be an expectation of profits from the investment. And so if it doesn't meet the Howey test, it looks to me like it's not a security. Now, maybe you've got a good argument for why some are and some aren't. My whole point is, I think we need to have clarity. The, his whole point is he thinks we need to have clarity because what did he just tell Gary Gensler? You stated that some may be a security. Well, what does that mean, Gary? Which some? Are you going to step up? Are you going to give us clarity? Are you going to give everyone in the crypto world, which is millions and millions of people, clarity? Because <clears throat> Coinbase, I think Coinbase should know. Hey, these are securities. Oh, these coins over here are not securities. Why are you letting these exchanges guess? Why are you letting these companies guess? And then eight years later, 10 years later, you people are stepping in and trying to do something. And you heard what Gary Gensler just stated. They are not going to issue any more warnings. They're not going to do it. They're pretty much saying, listen, you've been operating an exchange for eight years. You should have figured out by now what coins you should have listed, what coins you shouldn't have listed. We're not going to give you a warning. We're not going to say, listen, get coin ABC off of your exchange. We're just going to sue you. That's the way the SEC is going about this. It is absolutely disgusting. This segues into a beautiful tweet. Over from Niet Buzz. For those who remember, he was out to dinner and Jay Clayton showed up last week. Coinbase has worked closely with the SEC for years. They pride themselves on this. They always tell the SEC before they list a new coin. <clears throat> XRP. Today, Gensler said that Coinbase may be selling unregistered securities. Coinbase is about to get rippled. You're 100% right. What does that mean? You may be. What does maybe mean? That makes no sense, people. That's like you may be breaking the law. Well, am I breaking the law or am I not breaking the law? Because there is a big difference here. You go tell a judge that I may be has been speeding. Let me know what she says. She's going to say, listen to me. Listen to me right now. Was he speeding or was he not? There is no maybe here. Because if he was speeding, we make him pay the ticket. If he wasn't speeding, he doesn't pay the ticket. And if you think maybe he was speeding, you can get out of my courtroom. That's what goes on here. And then Joel Kaz comes in and chimes in. Because it kind of makes you wonder if they were gathering evidence, building a case, giving false assurances, and setting them up the whole time. 
the SEC let Coinbase go public. If there's a better way to intentionally maximize the harm to U.S. investors, I don't know what would be. He's right because everyone that is invested in Coinbase right now, and they find out, or when they find out that the SEC is actually going to drop this lawsuit against them, what do you think is going to happen to the stock? It's going to plummet. What's going to happen to these investors that are investing in Coinbase? It's going to drop the stock, aka the investor is going to lose money. So not only did the SEC wipe billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars out of XRP and destroy XRP holders right before Christmas, but now they are going to tank Coinbase because they, you know, they just let Coinbase do their thing for eight, nine, ten years as Coinbase actually took the time to work with them. And now they're saying, hey, listen, I know you worked with us. I know you asked us about all these currencies. But we think you may be selling some securities. And then I chimed in. I said, don't we call this entrapment? That's what it sounds like to me, a little entrapment. I don't know, people. And then we're going to get into the fireworks right now. Johnny Deaton comes out. Tags, Liz Clayman and Chris Gaspiano. He says, you have this opportunity to, put, to report on one of the biggest financial stories in recent memory. Will you? Obviously, he's talking about the whole William Henman and his speech. And he's trying to say it was his opinion when everyone knows it wasn't his opinion. And we have all the video evidence. And Ethereum got a clear pass with an ICO. Well, guess what? This guy, Charles Gasparano. <clears throat> He's up to the task, people. He is up to the challenge. He came in and he stated, I will report on this case. Make sure you head over, like, retweet it, blow this guy's page up because the more attention that he gets, the more followers he gets, the more he's actually going to look into it and dig into this because this can make someone's career right here, people, especially in the reporting field. <clears throat> He says, I need to figure out if there's any truth to the allegations that the SEC people are connected. Here we go. Comes out last night with an update around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Breaking. One question I have for Jay Clayton. And he has, he has phone calls out to Jay already. This guy worked for Fox, people. He still works for Fox. Why in your last days as the SEC chairman do you do a case like the one against Ripple and XRP? Maybe there's a good explanation. I should also point out that the government revolving door is nothing new. So him working for a firm that is investing in competitive cryptocurrencies, the Ethereum token, isn't illegal. Still, the timing is very interesting. Seems like something you punt to a new admin as Steve Mnuchin did with radical GSC reforming story developing. So this guy, Charlie Boy, is all over it. You have any information? And Johnny Dean already sent them over his website because he has the whole timeline set up. All the videos are in there. You have anything. You make sure you send it over to him because if this guy actually does come out and he does, he does see the light from all the evidence that we have gathered and he breaks that this new story about the SEC and the illegal actions and the Ethereum speech and the timing of everything, this thing from Fox is going to trickle down because all the other news outlets will pick it up. This thing will blow up and then the pressure will really be on people. This is big. This is the biggest news we might see all year. I can't wait to see what comes from this. Listen, all Patreon members today, I will be dropping another passive income way to make money, which is actually super cheap to get started. I already dropped one for everyone. About a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, the thing is a beautiful money-making opportunity. I have another one up my sleeve. It's going to be for all VIP members. Make sure you join the Patreon. Make sure you check out the XRP merch while you're at it. Whiskey glasses. I only got, I think I got like six left. So a dozen left. I need to order some more shot glasses. All oh, the red tumblers are in shot glasses at the end of the month, folks. This stuff doesn't last. Don't forget to get your t-shirts. That's going to do it for me. Hey, listen to me. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.